Before we start today's video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, mudpacks.com. You can click the link down below and open exciting packs, win tons of coins, and withdraw your account right away. You could use promo code CHU for 15% off. Lastly, when you sign up down below, you can get a free 10,000 coin pack as well. All right, boys, it's about time we updated the top 10 safeties in the game. We just did corners yesterday. Now we got the safeties a very very loaded position i would say it's more top heavy in this game right now than like the corner is where it's heavy from top to bottom but it is a very good position you only need like three or four of them maybe even two on certain defenses on the field anyways but if you guys enjoy top tens like this i do gameplays and all the brand new cards as well make sure that, that like button hit that sub button we're on the road to 25,000 subs and let's get right into it but number 10 beating out ed reed yes ed reed is our number 11 so beating out ed reed we have xavier mckinney right here he is six foot you'll notice that this card is actually actually 92 speed which is considered pretty slow in this game like i said this is a very top heavy liz i'm not the biggest fan of a couple of the night i think 92 speed is really hard to put in the field right now unless you're in a theme team or if you're in a budget kind of squad but 92 speed is the only negative if i'm gonna be honest he has 90 pursuit which is really good he has 90 man coverage 94 zone and then he's really good in the box as well with 87 or 85 tackling and then the 94 hit power right there i noticed that he doesn't have that 90 player but i always kind of see when people give me their teams to review them they send it to me on twitter or whatever i notice everybody has the ends of the zone it's like it's like 90 percent of people i swear have the in the zone so i always kind of look at the play rec like most people are going to hit 90 anyways if it's within three which it is at 87 right there but xavier mckinney liked the card a lot but like i said 92 speed is definitely not going to push you too much higher than this on the list so actually our last 92 speed player on the list is going to round off our number nine right here and like i said 92 speed is the only real negative with a card like this you're gonna have 88 player which is easily obtainable to get a 90 right there and then he comes with amazing stats across the board he's 91 man coverage 92 zone the pro uh the pursuit's amazing the tackling and the hit power are absurd he's actually really good in the box too with 78 block shed and 93 hit power you'll notice 70 78 block shed's not the craziest but he doesn't really come with good abilities either i this is a card where i picked up to user one time and i absolutely hated his abilities it comes with like I think like what crusher i think i don't even remember it wasn't uh, can we see it right here no we can't it, was, it wasn't good abilities let me just say that but six foot three very good in the game it just sucks like i said the 92 speed not so good abilities isn't really going to carry you too far up on this list so at number eight we have justin reed and justin reed is one i wish i could throw higher he's always been a very good card in the game for me every single year i think it's 21 he had an ltd last year he had a really good card i can't remember which one it was but i remember i used him a lot and even earlier on in the year he had a really good budget safety card but right here 94 overall he is a brand new card You'd think he'd be a little bit better and a little bit higher on this list, but 93 speed, like I said, is kind of eh right now in the game. We're getting a lot of 94 speed guys, and they just did obviously release a 95 speed Marvin Harrison, so we're getting up to 95 speed now. We're going to probably start getting those sooner rather than later, but he is six foot one, and he has solid stats. 92 play rack, 90 man, 94 zone. But the thing with him, he doesn't really get good abilities. It seems like every DB in the game gets one AP pick order, so I don't really count that as a benefit anymore. Every DB basically gets it for that now. And then he gets like mid-zone KO and one, uh, for one AP, and then he gets flat zone KO for one AP. Not really very good abilities in the game. I think mid-zone's okay. It's just an eh ability right now. But Justin Reed, I was a little disappointed in this card, but still definitely a solid safety in the game. So at number seven, we do have Jeremy Chin, another 93 speed player here, but you're obviously getting a big boost going up to six foot three that is a huge jump right there from five foot nine he does come with amazing stats too he comes with 91 play rec, which is really good the man coverage not being above 90 will stink for a lot of you guys that blitz out there there obviously are man strat cards you get above but i feel like most people are rocking the zone ones but if you are using chin and you're blitzing a lot you're probably gonna have to switch but 93 zone on him but this is not even the good part about the card right we'll see really good stats right here he gets zero ap pick artists so you're getting a six foot three guy you can put him in the box zero ap pick artists really really good user in the game he was amazing when he first came out top three safety and it just shows you how stacked this list is that this card's this low but i still find this card really good but number six we get darren woodson and darren woodson is an absolutely amazing safety and i feel like he is one that people just forget he even came out because of the safety overload we've been getting lately but six foot one 94 speed so we're finally getting a 94 speed guy in this list you're getting top end speed six foot one is nothing to be like you know smirk off that's a good height right now in the game he comes with 92 excel 
Very, very good right now. Absolutely amazing. He has amazing play rec right there at 92. He has amazing man in zone at 90, 94. His abilities are okay. I actually have him pulled up right here because I, I forgot about him for a second. He gets mid zone for one. He has, uh, I think, pick artist for one as well and then crusher for one. You know, it's okay abilities. Nothing insane. You're probably going to use the pick artist and just call it a day. But Darren Woodson is one. I will take that 94 speed every single day with those amazing stats across the board. Definitely an underrated card right now in the game. You don't see anybody talking or using this card at all so at number five we have one of the better users in the game cam chancer right here so we're going back down to 90 degree speed which obviously is an l he is six foot three You'll notice he's basically almost kind of like a Jeremy Chin out here. They're the same height. They're the same speed. You'll see that with him, he has 95 Excel, which I absolutely love. And I definitely felt that a lot in the game. I still have him on my team to this day. He comes with amazing, amazing hit power and tackling right there. And then when you scroll down here, he comes with 84 block shed, which is amazing right now. And then he comes with really good man and play rec that are very obtainable to get 90 right there. Like I said earlier, with any sort of little strat card in the game. Cam Chancellor, I don't know what it is is about this card but he hits harder than everybody i've seen in the game he's forced so many fumbles i think he gets a zero ap ability it's not so good you probably want to use the one ap pick artist on him anyways it's a really solid card in the game i mean we've been spoiled with k last year he was the mutt master this year he was a starter item and then we had the ak card and then we got our third cam item of the game we're kind of really fond of cam right now definitely a good card every time he gets an upgrade at number four we have john lynch and john lynch he basically is the same exact card as our number three you'll notice that they're like literally the exact same card almost so 94 speed on him he does come with really good abilities too he gets deep out zone ko and deep in ko for one ap each he comes with i think zero ap crusher and one ap pick artist so very very solid abilities in the game he has a good height right there at six foot two amazing play rec at 93 the man not being above 90 it kind of stinks we all know that but 95 zone is absurd that will be an easy 99 right there for most strat cards and then you'll notice down here let's go take a look at the inside stats 93 block shed that is defensive lineman numbers defensive lineman that's like lawrence taylor numbers right there and then he comes with 96 hit power on top of that so not only is he gonna play in the box like a linebacker he's gonna cover like any db with 95 zone in the game right now and he comes with amazing top end speed and good height to do everything i really feel like these top four safeties in the game are like absurdly good right now absolutely absurd so at number three we do have sean taylor and it's crazy to think that sean taylor did come out at number three for this list but remember most people have two to three safeties on their field me personally i actually have four our top four is the exact same replica as what i have on the field right now and sean taylor like i said when you look at him with john lynch they're almost the exact same card they have top end speed top end excel they're both six foot two they're both 220 pounds and then they both come with like amazing hit power at 97 right there and then they're both amazing with the block shed at 94 he is like a plus one on both of those stats sean taylor i'm not the biggest fan of his abilities either they gave him one ap pick artist when we've seen other safeties get it for zero and other dbs get it for zero and then also i i think he gets only deep in zone ko not the deep out which a lot of people are using right now with like dollar being very popular and cover two being very popular right now in the game so sean taylor like i said it's sean taylor he's has amazing stats but the only reason why you're not seeing him at number one or two it's simply because they just didn't give him super high-end meta abilities. The only thing you'll really probably be rocking on him right now is either the zero AP Crusher, which is kind of a gimmicky ability. It's not really like you know amazing in the game or you're going to be using the one to be pick artist nothing else really crazy up on him so at number two he was our number one last time steve atwater i feel like is still amazing in the game so not only are you getting top end speed right there at 94 you're also getting a plus one in height comparative to him and john lynch and uh sean t you know what i mean he's getting a plus one in height right there he does come with amazing stats in the box as well just like those guys 94 zone coverage too he has 95 hit power and then the block shit down here only an 88 but the reason why you're seeing steve atwater above obviously the height and also he gets a free pick artist one of the best abilities in the game it can literally get you picks through opponents bodies it can give you insane picks when you don't even think you're near the or like near the area at all it can also give you tipped picks through people's body like i said it's a broken ability right now and it makes you catch every pick you should be catching anyways and that water gets it for free he also gets deep in zone ko at the same time if you want that for one ap i know he gets one ap deep out zone ko but you'd have to give up the pick artist for that but i wouldn't do that probably just run the deep in zone ko for whatever defense you're running but Atwater, water one of the best users in the game too really good in the box amazing height amazing abilities he's definitely top two and at number one i mean it's just like the list yesterday with corners i mean calvin was the easiest pick ever ted hendricks 
I don't really have to do anything here. Six foot seven. Enough said right there. Don't got to really explain that. He comes with 94 speed. And then they gave him top end excel. You'd think they would like counter a little of the stats to make him a little bit more fair. But they gave him 95 excel too. I think that is actually the highest on the list if I'm not mistaken. I might be. I definitely. I think I might be speaking there actually. But he comes with amazing zone coverage too. I know people see the man. But you got to remember. You're going to be using Ted Hendricks. Man coverage and zone coverage do not matter if you are using the card. You're the one controlling him. But at the end of the day, I know sometimes you get clicked off. But if you're running a man scheme and you're blitzing every single play, it's, it might be a little bit harder with him. But like I said, you're probably going to want to have him in your user's hands. Anyways, he comes with 95 hit power. And then when you come down here, he has 91 block shed as well. 90 power move and a 92 finesse move. That is literally defensive lineman stats, but just even more insane. Like we were talking about John Lynch and Sean Taylor earlier. This is insane. They gave him power move and finesse move too. Like he's literally a defensive lineman. Ted Hendricks, a beast. I know they didn't give him really good abilities. He doesn't get a cheap uh, pick artist. He gets deep. They knew what they were doing. They nerfed his abilities. They gave him uh, a man KO. The deep man KO when they gave him 71 man coverage. They tried to nerf him ability wise. They gave him 3 AP acro, which is pretty expensive right now in the game for acro but ted hendricks he has to be on your field man you can throw zero ap on him and throw him at your user this card's gonna ball out boys hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to comment down below which safeties are you rocking right now in the game i think ted hendricks has been an absolute fan favorite so far i am in love with the card i hope you guys are enjoying him as well and i hope to see you guys in the next video we're gonna do the best card in every position tomorrow so make sure to tune into that we'll do that before the nfl games come on at 1 p.m so make sure i have the noties on to be ready for that and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out boys